Have you ever wondered how your brain processes information and makes decisions? This fascinating question takes us into the realm of cognition, a psychological power that serves as the bridge between consciousness and behavior. Within the folds of our brain, cognition orchestrates an intricate ballet of thoughts, memories and decisions. Let's rewind to the early days of neuroscience. Think of Sherrington's pioneering work, the revelations of split-brain phenomena and Penfield's groundbreaking observations in the operating room. These moments of discovery birthed dualistic theories, laying the cornerstone for our understanding of cognition. Fast forward to the present, we see the landscape of cognitive neuroscience teeming with theories. From exploring the role of the hippocampus in memory retention and retrieval, to the emergence of multiple trace theory, the quest for understanding cognition is far from over. The understanding of cognition in neuroscience is continuously evolving, spurred by the development of new theories and experimental techniques. In the realm of cognitive neuroscience, there are several theories that attempt to explain how our brains retain and retrieve information. These theories are born out of the desire to unravel the intricate web of cognition, to understand the how behind our ability to remember, learn and think. Let's start with the cognitive map theory. This theory suggests that our brain forms a mental representation or map of our surroundings, helping us navigate the world. However, while this theory explains spatial memory well, it falls short in accounting for other forms of memory, such as episodic or semantic memory. Next, we have the standard consolidation theory. According to this theory, the hippocampus and the neocortex interact to create and store memories. Over time, the neocortex takes over, allowing the memory to become independent of the hippocampus. However, this theory struggles to explain why some memories remain hippocampus dependent. The third theory, the multiple trace theory, proposes that every time a memory is retrieved, a new trace or version of that memory is created. This theory offers a compelling explanation for why memories can change over time, but it still doesn't provide a complete picture of the memory formation and retrieval process. These theories, while providing valuable insights, each have their strengths and weaknesses, and there are still unresolved issues, questions that these theories cannot fully answer. For instance, why do we sometimes forget, or why do certain memories seem clearer than others? To fill these gaps, new theories are being proposed. One such theory is a unified account based on multiple trace theory. This theory combines elements from the previous theories, offering a more comprehensive explanation of cognition. But even this theory is not without its challenges. The development of concepts often outpaces the development of experimental techniques in neuroscience, creating a mismatch that complicates our understanding of cognition. Despite the advancements in neuroscience, the exact mechanisms of cognition remain a profound mystery. As we continue to delve deeper into the complexities of the brain, we can only hope that one day, this mystery will be unraveled. Now, let's venture into the world of cogitation, the human powers of belief, thought and imagination. This fascinating realm of neuroscience is a testament to the complexity and grandeur of the human mind. Cogitation, much like its counterpart cognition, is an intricate tapestry woven from threads of belief, thought and imagination. It is through this process that we form our unique perceptions of the world around us. Studies in neurogenetic and behavioral neuroscience are illuminating the complex relationships that underpin this phenomenon. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the mind, we uncover new layers of understanding. We begin to see how our beliefs shape our thoughts, how our thoughts give rise to our imagination, and how our imagination in turn influences our beliefs. This intricate dance of mental processes is what makes us who we are. Cogitation, like cognition, is a fascinating and complex aspect of neuroscience that continues to intrigue scientists. Cognition and cogitation, two sides of the same coin, play a critical role in our understanding of the world. Both are intricately interwoven threads in the tapestry of our consciousness. Cognition, a psychological powerhouse, influences our perception, memory and judgment. On the other hand, cogitation, the power of thought, allows us to believe, imagine, and ponder. These two processes, constantly interacting, shape our subjective experiences and responses to the environment. Current research is striving to tease apart this complex relationship, studying the effects of cognition on cogitation and vice versa. Every new finding brings us a step closer to comprehending the enigmatic human mind. 
Some fascinating areas of exploration include the impact of cognitive processes on our ability to think abstractly and how our thoughts can in turn influence our cognitive abilities. As we continue to delve into the intricate workings of the mind, cognition and cogitation serve as vital keys to unlocking the mysteries of the brain.